the new offensive against Russian troops may come down to how well Ukraine's night vision technology works. The Ukrainian army has thermal cameras and night vision goggles, which give it a technological advantage over Russia, which is its enemy. According to the commander of Ukraine's military, Ukrainian forces are succeeding in stabilizing the situation in and around the eastern city. The largest battle of Russia's recent war was centered on the now destroyed city. Similar to how precise Western MLRS transformed warfare for Ukrainian forces last year, Ukrainian drones have the potential to do the same. Between February 24, 2022 and March 27, 2023, the armed forces of Ukraine knocked out about 171,160 Russian troops from Ukraine, including 610 invaders just the day before. On March 26, the bodies of about 100 Russian soldiers were brought from the war zone to the Central District Hospital in the Luhansk region. Oleksandr, who is in control of the forces on the ground in Ukraine, declared that after stopping Russia's winter campaign, his troops would soon launch a counteroffensive. After 13 months of fighting, the Ukrainian military has destroyed or taken control of nearly 1,900 Russian and separatist tanks. The previous day, the Ukrainian 92 Brigade carried out three attacks against the groups of occupiers. At the same time, missile forces and artillery units hit a command post for groups of enemy soldiers weapons and military equipment, a radio-electronic warfare station, and an enemy ammunition depot. The Ukrainians attacked them quickly and accurately, as well as with artillery, mines, drones, and shoulder-fired missiles. Even though the enemy is firing constantly from artillery and planes, the Ukrainian soldiers at the front are very brave and strong. The 93rd, 10th, 57th, and 5th Brigades are currently defending their motherland, especially in the eastern part of the nation. Outside of the badly damaged city, Ukrainian forces keep Russian units at bay so that food, equipment, ammunition, and medicine can be sent to the defenders. The Ukrainian military has done better than expected in its conflict with Russia. And many experts say that this is because of help from the United States. Both sides of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine are losing more lives. The fact that Ukraine has received weapons and other equipment from Western countries, including the US, has made things challenging for the Russian forces. The Russian troops are always looking for places where they can get through, but right now the Ukrainian army has a strong defensive line that they can't get through. The Stinger and Javelin missiles are two of Ukraine's most important and used weapons to stop Russian advances on the ground and attacks from the air. Ukraine has previously informed the US that it requires 500 of each weapon daily. A spring counterattack by Ukraine against Russian forces has been talked about for a few weeks. Commanders in Ukraine have made hints that it might happen soon. The commander of Ukraine's ground forces, Oleksandr, suggested this week that it might happen very quickly. According to some analysts, the Ukrainian military is promoting the idea of a counteroffensive to frighten their Russian allies. Instead of concentrating their forces in specific location, like the eastern city of Barmut, they want Russian commanders to disperse their troops thinly across the front lines, 
prepared for any attack. 